Today I'm going to be making another charcuterie board, but this one's a little bit different. I found a recipe for homemade hot chocolate and I thought it would be really cool to make a charcuterie board that accompanies the homemade hot chocolate. Everything on this table is something that I'm going to be using on the hot chocolate charcuterie board. Instead of savory, this time I went more sweet. Even with the cheeses, I'm using cheesecake and cannoli dip. I'm also going to be adding in some fresh fruits like strawberries, cherries, and bananas to just break up the flavors a little bit. And we can't forget the whipped cream. Once we're finished making the charcuterie board, we're going to be diving right into making homemade hot chocolate. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see the final result. Now let's get right into the video. The first item that I'm going to be going in with is this New York style cheesecake. You can place it wherever you'd like, just make sure there's enough distance between the two so that way they're not too close together. The next item I'm going in with are these chocolate teddy grams. I thought this would be a nice touch to the board considering that it's a hot chocolate charcuterie board. So just going to lay these right next to the cheesecake. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This board is awesome because it spins so it's super easy to put things in places. I'm also going to be adding biscottis to the board. These are really good for dipping into your hot chocolate. I'm just going to overlap a few. I'm just going to overlap a few on each side of the board. Next, I'm going in with these milk chocolate confection cookies. I found these at Walmart and these are so good. Out of all of the things that I've put on my charcuterie boards, these are by far one of my favorites. And there's chocolate on the top and then like a wafer cookie on the bottom. I'm just going to be adding a few of these on the edge of the board as well. I'm going to be adding some pretzel rods to the board as well to bring in some of that salty flavor so we can break up the sweetness. I found these blueberry pastry bites when I went to the store looking for things for this hot chocolate charcuterie board. I thought the blueberry jam in the middle would accompany everything on this board really well. I'm just going to be adding these right next to the biscottis. I'm going to be going in with some cherries to break up the colors, the flavors, and the texture of the board and add a little bit of freshness. I'm adding these right next to the pretzel rods. The contrast in color between the red cherries and the cheesecake looks super pretty. I'm placing the cherries in a pile just until they look full enough. Next, I'm going to be going in with these fresh strawberries and I'm going to be cutting them up and creating a strawberry river down the charcuterie board. I'm going to be leaving the tops on the strawberries, but when I cut them, I'm going to be cutting them long ways. When there's so many different sweet things on a board, like chocolates and all different kinds of things, it's nice to add some fresh fruits so it doesn't feel as heavy. I'm going to be placing these right along the outside of the charcuterie board, right up against the cheesecake. The contrast in color between the strawberries and this cheesecake looks so beautiful. We're gonna go in with these ones instead of the other ones I just had because these ones are a little bit bigger. I'm just filling everything in so that way everything looks full. I'm gonna be adding a banana to the board because chocolate and bananas always go so well together. We're just gonna be peeling this and slicing it up and just layering it on top of one another, kind of like the strawberries. I'm just going to be laying these right alongside of the cherries. Since this is a hot chocolate charcuterie board, I couldn't forget the mini marshmallows. I'm going to be adding this to fill in some of the gaps and holes, but also because it accompanies hot chocolate really well. Next, I'm going in with some cannoli dip, but I'm going to be adding it to this little ramekin. I'm going to be placing this on the charcuterie board and adding the cannoli dip to it. Next, we're going to be going in with some chocolate covered pretzels. I'm just overlapping these and I'm placing them right between the strawberries and the blueberry mini pastries. Next, we're going in with some white chocolate chips and I'm going to be placing them right between the pretzels and the chocolate covered teddy grams. 
The next item that I'm adding to the board are these strawberry cream covered biscuit sticks. They look super good. And I think the pink will look really pretty with all of the darker colors. They smell so good. Oh my gosh, it smells just like strawberries. I'm just gonna be laying these next to the biscottis. I'm also gonna be adding some mint fudge flavored baking chunks to this board. They're like mint chocolate chips. I'm gonna be adding some on this side as well. The color looks super pretty with everything else on here. I decided to add some more strawberries to the board to fill in the space and just to break up the color a little bit. And the last item that I'm gonna be adding to the board to fill in the last space are some more cherries. Here's the finished result of the charcuterie board. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It looks so delicious. I can't wait to eat it. But before I do that, we have to get right into making this homemade hot chocolate that's going to accompany the charcuterie board so well. Now it's time to make the homemade hot chocolate and I'm so excited to make it. Let's go. We're gonna go with this one. It has the best reviews. Sugar, cocoa powder, salt, water, milk, vanilla, and half and half. While that's boiling, we're gonna start on the dry ingredients. So we need 3 fourths cup of white sugar, a third cup cocoa powder, and a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna be adding 1 fourth cup of sugar to the hot chocolate because I am type 1 diabetic. If I add too much, my sugar is gonna be sky high. Next, we need a third cup of cocoa powder. And then for the last dry ingredient, it's just a pinch of salt. I'm going in with this Himalayan pink salt, but I'm sure you can use regular table salt too. That's probably what they prefer, but we have this in our house, so that's what I'm gonna be using. It says to whisk in the boiling water. Bring to a simmer and cook, stirring occasionally for two minutes. This smells so good. I turn the heat down to low because it's cooking really fast. Okay. Let's see what we're supposed to do next. I removed it from the heat so that way it doesn't burn. Okay, now we have to stir in the milk which is three and a half cups. This is a half cup, so it's gonna take me a while. Now it's time to add in some vanilla. It says three fourths of a teaspoon, but I'm just gonna be eyeballing it. A little extra vanilla won't hurt. And the last step is to add half of a cup of half and half. Now that the hot chocolate is all mixed up and all done, it's time to taste test it. Let's see how this tastes. Oh my gosh. This is way better than the hot chocolate packets. I didn't even put the full three-fourths cup of sugar in it. I only put one-fourth. We can't forget the final touch. You all know I've been waiting to do this the whole time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this hot chocolate charcuterie board. This is one of my favorite ones yet. Stay tuned, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see some more awesome charcuterie board videos. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you guys wanna see next, or if you guys are interested in more of a vlog style video or charcuterie boards. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.